I understand, by a drilling company. And um, I'd like to ask, how, how are you going to deal with that? Where is the funding from that going to come from in the future? Uh, to both sides. So, well, um, yeah, this will go to, to Bruno first. First of all, regarding the gas ban that was in, uh, voted and uh, put into place in the uh, town of Dryden, I, my position is that it was, it was completely unnecessary for the taxpayers of Dryden to have to foot the bill to answer a legitimate legal question. It's a legitimate. The courts, everybody recognizes the court's going to decide this. And it, they needed a test case to go through the courts in order to get this question of what exactly do municipal, municipalities have in terms of authority over this? Can they actually ban it? I think it's a legitimate question that needs to be resolved. I support resolving that question. I do not support the taxpayers of Dryden, Dryden having to foot $150,000 to $200,000 to take this from the Supreme Court to the Appellate Division to the Court of Appe through the Court of Appeals. I think it was premature, unnecessary, and it's going to be very expensive. <coughs> Thank you. I, I couldn't agree less. <laughs> it, was, um, it, it was not premature. The, um, as, when more, as more and more people came to the town to ask us, to, uh, to, to do something to stop gas drilling. We took them more and more seriously. As the deadline for the DEC issuing the generic environmental impact statement drew near, and we knew that that might mean a very short window of opportunity before they started issuing permits, we knew we had to clarify our existing prohibition against, uh, against drilling. In the, that's all we did. If the, zone, if the gas company had looked at the zoning prior to this, they would have known that it was not permitted um, so we just wanted to make that um, clearer. How are we dealing with the lawsuit? Um, I think this is, um, I don't see our tired attorney here, but I've been instructed to say we are defending ourselves vigorously. Um, th this particular phase is, is very narrow and, and will not be terribly difficult or expensive to defend. And we have had many offers from other Time. organizations and law firms for, um, for financial support and legal support. Thank you. Um, I guess my concern is if we were simply clarifying um, existing, uh, an existing prohibition, then why did we need to make a big deal of it? If it was already on the books, couldn't it have just stayed there? Couldn't it, we have stayed under the radar um, and let other areas put that big word ban out there? Um, if it's clearly there, then why did we have to do something else? Um, I'm uh, concerned about about um, gas drilling, just like I think every other resident. We want a clean environment, and, um, and that's for, foremost in all of our minds. I do believe, however, that the state has the decision. They will make the decision, and it's our job to manage that in the best way possible for the town of Dryden. <coughs> It sounds like the other side thinks that we should be scared and not exercise our democratic will. Uh, we did not opt to be sued. Henry Kramer invited us to be sued, and you can read Martha Robertson's article on that coming out in the paper. Um, we did this to protect that billion dollar investment that I just told you about, and the lifestyle and quality of life of our children in the town of Dryden, so that they can ride their bikes freely and not be hit by the drunken drivers described in today's Ithaca Journal in North Dakota and Pennsylvania. Moreover, we do have local rights. Senator Seward knows we have local rights. He has put forth a bill for it. Check out the website of Greg Ball, who is a wonderful Tea Party person who is outstanding at talking about our rights as citizens to defend ourselves against this. This is not a partisan issue. We are protecting ourselves, and it is our obligation and legal right. Time. They are lying about this being the state's power. Time. <laughs>